All right, you guys, we're starting our build video. This is part one. We're gonna be putting together the X47B 70 millimeter EDF jet. It's got the 70 millimeter Detrim combo kit from hobbyparts.com. I just wanna say the first thing you guys wanna do is read over your plans. Read everything over. You can go to your build videos to watch how to build this jet. If I were you, I'd, I would go ahead and just get two copies when you print these up. That way you got one to go off of and the other one you can cut up. Alright, let's move on to our first steps here. Now here I picked up some Office Depot black foam board. This stuff is a little more rigid than your standard foam board. It's black inside and out. So again, you can get this from Office Depot. You can also use Elmer's foam board. This stuff is a little thicker than the usual stuff. Now again, you guys can see this stuff comes with a, a slight bow in it. Or there the bow is facing down. We want to flip both these sheets over. And we want that bow to be at the top. So we want the crown at the top. That's going to give us some of our airfoil right off the get-go on build, building this jet. Alright, I already went ahead and cut out a few things on the plans. We got our template for setting our dihedral, which is right there. I cut out the two tail fins, and those pieces are all just straight cuts. So I went ahead and cut those out already. Here I got a template already made up, glued onto another piece of foam board. Let's go ahead and get this started. All you're going to do is take your foam board, guys. Now this is the top of our jet with the crown facing up. So what we're going to do is take and flip both these over to the bottom of our jet. And we're going to want to tape these two pieces of foam board together. And again, I got them standing on end, long ways. Let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'm just taping the two pieces together. Make sure you got them nice and tight. Like so. Sure you got it good and stuck on there. It's gonna be the center of our jet and we want to be able to make sure it's nice and strong. Alright, so once you run your tape connecting your two pieces, go ahead and flip them back over. This is a lot just like the bat wing build we did. Just assembling your two pieces. We'll come back over here. Take our plans. Now, here we can take and go ahead and take this main wing right off the plans. That way we've got smaller pieces to work with. Go ahead and strip it right off there. We'll, we'll get to the top of the fuselage in a minute. So just move that off to the back. All right, now this is our main top view of our main wing. We're gonna take a our ruler, a pin. Just continue this score line right out the bottom of your plans, just like I did there. This is the center line for your jet. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. Just continue it right off the top of the piece of paper. So now we're gonna line our line these lines up with this where we join the two pieces of foam board together. Just like so. Now I'll take some tape. Throw some tape down on this. Oops. 
All right, now we got our plans taped down on our two sheets of foam board. I'll go ahead and grab my ruler and get right into cutting this. And our first cuts are gonna be a 45 degree angle out, because this is our leading edge. I always put a 45 degree angle toward the front of the jet. And there's the arrows on here that tell you 45 degree angle out, so you'll know to put your ruler up there and cut outside your piece. Go ahead and put a 45 on this. Pick that up where we left off. Put a 45 down here. Make sure you guys got some nice straight new razors. I mean, I got a whole packet of here of both. That way if you burn through them, you can just replace them real fast. And I always cut on just a, th a throw carpet. This is just an eight by eight or an eight by five throw rug. And it's not shag or nothing. It's actually kind of flat carpet. All right, we're gonna do a 45 out on this leading edge. Like so. Right, let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So again, on the leading edge, guys, always do a 45 degree angle cut toward the front of your jet. Again, a 45. Another 45 out. Now the whole back of the jet is gonna be cut at a 45 degree angle in. 